What's up guys, I just wanted to throw together a really quick video uh, because a lot of people have been having problems with my last jailbreak video uh, that covers the iPhone 3G jailbreak, the iPod Touch first generation jailbreak, and the iPhone first generation jailbreak and unlock. Um, a lot of people have been having problems with it and i seen one guy was like, you should have did research before you blah 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 did a video. I always test out every single jailbreak before I do a video. I didn't do it on 3G because it's the exact same thing. Um, so, I wanted to help you guys out with the 1600 errors uh, you've been getting. Now, there's, to my knowledge, there's not really anything you can do to prevent a 1600 error. A lot of people have been leaving comments like every single one of them in a different way to fix it. There's not really a way to fix it. I actually got the error myself. You just kind of got to play around with it. Um, here's the best things I can tell you to do. Make sure you're up to date to iTunes 9.0. So, update your iTunes to the latest version. Uh, make sure your iPhone is up to date to the 3.0 firmware or 3.1 firmware. Uh, mine was, and I still got the 1600 error, but really just got to play around with it a bit. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Make sure you're downloading the correct firmware, of course, for your device. Uh, that could probably give you some errors. And yeah, that is about it. Make sure you're in DFU mode. If anything goes wrong, put it back into DFU mode. Um, another thing you can do, I don't care if I mess up this uh, this phone right here, um, if your phone messes up, you don't know if it's in DFU mode or not, what you can do, let, let me go ahead and put it into DFU mode, um, well actually I don't have to put it in DFU mode, if it's in DFU mode, if you will hold the home and power button for about 10 to 15 seconds, it will reboot and turn back on like it normally would, and then you can put it right back into DFU mode and try it again, that may help you out. So I just wanted to post this really quick. Um, stay tuned, I will have some videos and stuff like that about the other jailbreaks, um, as well as a Zoom versus iPod Touch comparison. I'm here and probably, hopefully I can do it today or tomorrow. Um, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this will help out all your errors you're getting. Sorry you've been having problems and stuff like that, but it's not really anything I can control because I didn't really have any problems with mine. And I did extensively test it, so... Yeah. All right. Thanks for and this is that was the official jailbreak. I seen a few people say wait for the official jailbreak. That is the official jailbreak from the dev team. Um, all I did was I used Pwnage Tool and instead of you having to download Pwnage Tool, download the 3.1 firmware and make your own, you just I basically just cut that out and made the firmware and basically did everything you were going to do for you and made it uh, simpler for you. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching and. Hopefully this will help you out. And subscribe to my other channels. Follow me on Twitter. Do all that. Check out TiesIphoneHub.com. And bye.